welcome welcome to my family wow <laughs> we are done with part one of friends yes so some other day we will continue the part two yes 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 but today my god i will be talking about wake up woman wake up women wake up wake up wake up it's actually a very sensitive one but it need we need to talk about it honestly we need to talk about it for our sake and the sake of our kids or the generation after us is very needed under this wake up woman i have what women go through most especially in Europe and uh, I also have tribalism in marriage yes so and uh, I also have men that want to marry more than one wife yes so I'm not against it I, 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 I don't I don't go against people decision or that their opinions but we will know everything inside this topic so Today, I will be talking about what women go through in Europe. Yes, yeah, so like I said before, it's a very sensitive one. Just listen and it need to be talked about. <clears throat> really, really, women are really going through a lot in Europe. Yes, yeah, so without being told. After all the struggle, hustling, battling. It's time for you to say, okay, let me settle down and have a rest of mind. That is when another Genesis will now open to you. The Genesis that will suffocate you. The Genesis that will put you in the state of frustration. The Genesis that will just be tormenting you. If care is not taken, it will also take lives. Well, like I said, women are going through a lot. Yes, so after all this struggling, one man will just come and frustrate all your effort or what you have labored for. I have a lot to talk about. I'm not trying to say that Europe men are no good. No, don't get me wrong. They are good. I have come across the good ones and I've come across the bad ones. That is why I could be able to talk. <clears throat> so, 90% of them are very, very good. Honestly, with my 18 years of experience here, they are very, very good. 80% of European men, they are good. Honestly, it's 80%. Even, let, let me say 90, 90% are good. But there is just this 10% that is really, really, really constituting nuisance among them. So those 10%, would not even let us to talk about the 90% that is good. Honestly, they are good men in Europe. <clears throat> and this 10% that is just costing nuisance, I pray that they don't come across your way. Because when they come, they will just frustrate your lives. Honestly. Well... <laughs> Let me quickly tell you a story that happened years back that made me to say woke up women. A lot of them, but I will be saying it one after the other in every topic. So let me quickly tell you about this particular one. So years back, so there were this family, this couples, they have two daughters. <laughs> I pray that I don't get emotional when I'm doing this. It's what I'm trying to avoid because it is 
really really painful whenever i think about this i don't know how i feel honestly so these two couple we are living here before and they were okay with their two daughters so this thing moving to london then we'll just invoke and they decide to relocate to london so <laughs> when they now relocate to london so this woman started working there, hustling. We know that then women have more opportunity in Europe than men. Yes, even till now if I'm right, I don't know. But so those people relocate to London and get it that this woman started working. Why? The man was always at home. He was not doing anything. So one of a sudden, this man said he wants to go into business. Okay. The wife. I have to support my husband. That is what the woman said. So meanwhile, before they move out of Germany, they were already building house at home. So the man convinced the woman that every profit would be used on that project wish the woman agree on it and work hard and make sure she's strong labor work unnecessary work all kind of work just to gather this money so immediately she gathered the money this man now really started this business and uh, started going home coming back so news keep on coming to this woman that listen your husband is having an affair in Nigeria and this woman called the husband the husband said there's nothing like that if she won't go sit to spread their home or what so this woman trusted the husband women don't trust too much it hurts yes so so this woman trusts the husband so much and this newspaper called me Anytime the woman bring the topic, the man will start problem and say there is nothing like that. Yes, there is nothing like that. The woman just have to believe the man. So the business keep on going until one particular day. They also called her to tell her that the woman is not living on you people's new building. This woman also asked the husband. The husband said, there is nothing like that. Okay. Should I call it one blessed day? No. On one particular day again, a call just came. So immediately this call came. It was a woman. And this woman picked the call and said, listen, I have a baby for our husband. The woman asked, who is your husband? She said, your husband is also my husband. And I have a son for him. <laughs> mm. Immediately, this woman dropped the phone and called the husband. When he called the husband, the husband said, and so what? Yes, I have another woman and with my son. <laughs> Oh God have mercy. So, this woman was just like, what is going on? And he dropped the phone also and called the friend here and explained everything to the family friend. The family friend said, okay, no problem. Tomorrow, I will call him. I will see what is really going on. <sighs> so, that particular night, this woman went to bed with the case. Believe me, this woman slept that night and never woke up again. I mean, she never woke up again. Time for the kids to go to school in the morning. As usual, mommy is not up and they run to the room to tell mommy, mommy, we are almost late from the school. They tried to wake mommy up. Mommy did not wake up again. 
that was how that woman died of cardiac arrest yes the worst heart attack so far took the life of that woman you see what woman go through went through in Europe after all those struggles, all those hustle, battle, that was just the end of that woman. <sighs> My brothers and sisters, I pray today that we will never labor in vain in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that we will eat the fruit of our labor. We will never labor for another person to eat. We will live to eat the fruit of our labor. Anybody that says we will not enjoy the fruit of our labor, may the Almighty God wage war against that person. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> Woman, women, sometimes in every false alarm or in every news, there is a system of truth inside. Yes, always take time to investigate it when it comes to marriage things. Always take time to investigate the negative side and the positive side because there could be symptoms of truth inside. Please, don't trust too much. No, it hurts. It kills. Well, <sighs> thank you for your time. Let me quickly stop here. Don't forget, we still have tribalism in marriage to talk about. And we still have men that have more than one wife to talk about. <sighs> Tell a friend. Invite a friend. Let's do this together. God bless you. I love you. I still remain your sister. You can call me your friend, although relationship is not by force, as I always say. I love you. God bless you. Stay blessed.